So my name's Becky Pickering, I'm the Student Wellbeing Advisor based within the Health and Wellbeing Team in Student Services. Um, so I offer support to students who are experiencing any kind of wellbeing related difficulty, so anything that might be affecting them at university, particularly with their studies. If a student was to come to you with self-conflict issues, what services would be offered to them? Well, within student services, we've got quite a wide range of wellbeing support available. Um, so, obviously, students come with, diff with very different issues and difficulties. Um, so, they would attend, if they wanted to kind of ask for support at student services, reception, then they'd be offered... Um, you know, given information on the various support that's available, including the team that I work within, which is the mental health and wellbeing team. So, like I said, we offer um, support to students experiencing a wide range of wellbeing difficulties and anything that might then be impacting on their mental health or students with long-term mental health difficulties, we offer support to those students. We also have a counselling service. If students wanted to access weekly counselling support, then they could access that through student services. That's very easy to access. And we've also got a chaplaincy service, which offers kind of spiritual guidance and wellbeing in that respect as well. Um, so, quite a wide range. <laughs> if a student was to come to you with issues regarding drug abuse, what information would be available to them? Um, so, obviously this would um, change on a case-to-case -case basis. Um, so, there, there's probably quite a few different um, questions around drugs that students might have. But generally, we would advise them um, to find out as much information as they can if they were taking drugs or considering taking a new drug to always kind of research that and find out you know what what effect that might have on them and the safe way to maybe take that drug we do have a drugs leaflet that we kind of would be able to give to students where they could find out a bit more for themselves um, but information like um, looking at the talk to frank website is really helpful because that's got a wide range of information on different drugs and and how they might impact on different people but again to be aware that um, even with a drug that might be quite common and have been around for a long time like cannabis that will affect every individual differently as well um, so to be aware of that so if someone's maybe taking a drug and they're finding that it might be having quite a negative impact on them um, just be aware that maybe that drug doesn't particularly suit them and that might might cause them problems either in the short term or the long term but then there's also drugs that maybe don't appear to cause any problems at the time where then we're finding out that they do actually cause long-term health difficulties such as ketamine for example so ketamine um, was around kind of from the 90s onwards became a bit more popular and people weren't really reporting many short-term health difficulties with ketamine at the time but then only in the last few years um, they're discovering that it has caused a lot of long-term problems with kind of bladder and kidneys and some people are having to have their bladders removed from taking ketamine regularly and that's only something we're recently finding out so the difficulties with illegal drugs are that they they don't have the same regulations as legal drugs so they're constantly evolving new drugs are coming on the market and we don't know really until quite a while later what long-term effect they might have so we kind of maybe talk through some of the risks with students but we just want them to be informed I guess on what they're taking and you know what the risks are and how to do that safely. So if a person was considering to take drugs or are taking drugs what advice would you give? Um, so we'd say again to kind of research what it is they're, they're taking and get some good advice on that from for example talk to Frank um, rather than just a friend who's maybe taken it because that's slightly different um, we'd say to avoid injecting drugs because there's many complications involved when people inject and the effect can be much more powerful and much more damaging um, avoid mixing different drugs at the same time or mixing drugs and alcohol avoid being on your own when taking drugs try to avoid using drugs when in a low mood because this could have a really um, bad effect on someone's mental health and how they manage that when they're taking drugs avoid using drugs every day um, and spending too much money on drugs and therefore getting into kind of financial or legal difficulties um, but also if anything um, you know bad happened when someone was taking drugs so they lost conscious or you know 
they became very unwell, we would say always seek um, urgent medical help, you know, straight away. So how can students find these services? Well, students can access support from student services really easily. Um, student services has a reception at three different campuses, at City North, at Millennium Point and at City South Campus. Um, but they can also call student services or email or access an online query. So there's lots of different ways to get in touch with student services. Um, we have regular appointments at all at three different campuses all throughout the week um, with myself, with a counsellor, mental health advisor, wide range of other advisors as well, such as finance and careers. Um, so it is very, very easy to access our service. Um, within the mental health and wellbeing team, our service is confidential. So we're not able to pass on information to the students, faculty, or you know their accommodation um, about what they what they're kind of doing. Um, it it is very much a confidential service, and we would be able to advise them from there of what support they might be able to access, whether that's ongoing support available at the university or maybe referring to other services outside of the university as well such as the students GP um, there's also a service in Birmingham called Birmingham Drug and Alcohol Action Team that um, if the student wanted to call them directly they would be able to advise them on the wide range of different services that are, av are available throughout Birmingham for various levels of drug and alcohol taken and that's not just if someone's you know taking drugs every day that's a, you know even if it's recreational use there could be services available for people using at very different levels um, we can refer students to that if they don't want to call themselves we can make a referral with their permission um, and we can talk to any other external agencies if the student wants us to make the initial contact on their behalf we can point them in the right direction but again, that's only with the permission of the student. We would always talk to them first about what they wanted to do. So how can students contact you? So if students wanted to contact myself, um, my direct number is 0121 331 7741. You can also email any of us on Student Services. All of our contact details are on ICT, on the Student Services ICT pages, um, and on the individual team ICT pages as well. Um, you can also contact us through Student Services Reception or by calling 0121 331 5588.